Alright. So today, I thought, you know, we, we, we could do something, or I could do something, that I haven't done within a couple of weeks. But, I was thinking, why not just draw another space battle? Because you realize how long it takes to make an alien. So trying to think of one. Oh, don't mind that, by the way. But, today, we're thinking of drawing something that could be a little bit of a an epic, uh, how, how do you say it? Something like another space battle between another fantasy creature against a realistic sci-fi creature. Why not humans and orcs, you know? Why not draw humans and orcs? So, make this ballistic cannon. Boom! Spaceship down. The struts, little simple design of just putting them on the little spaceship. Now, I guess we just we just duplicate the thing multiple times. <clears throat> How much time should I duplicate? Let's say four times, since the human race isn't really that fond of making multiple spaceships because they didn't know what they were fighting when they went out into the cosmos. Let's make a little story for the humans and orcs to add about the fight. Uh, let's say the orcs. I know, like a dying species, but they got off with the wrong foot with the humans. Thinking the humans were just simple and primitive. So for payback, the humans I don't know, destroyed their worlds and left the orcs living on ships until they could colonize another, I don't know, planet. I guess. Oh, let's put the thrusters. I forgot the thrusters. But the humans fight the orcs and now they're like their arch enemy. They kind of work with the elves, but not really. Not really kind of like an alliance for the elves. Let's draw this one like it's fighting another ship over here. I'm just saying that the orcs and the humans are like arch nemesis. Make this one fight. The orc, let's say warrior? No, 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 no. The bugs have the warrior name for that. Little Corvettes. Let's call them the guards. No, no, no. That looks to be a lot of Corvettes. They're not really, well, you know, that well kind of shape, but let's draw another structure over here. But make this one more hexagonic. Remember, you can draw a space battle too if you feel bored, or or you know, draw a simple stick man arm going on. Just remember, your imagination is limitless, and I took mine to the fullest. Almost to the fullest. Because if you look at me, nah, we shouldn't do that. It looks too similar. Because if you look at me, what I'm doing right now, this is more than just me going to my limit. You have no limit. But the saddest thing I can say is, so we got that. Okay, let's draw this other destroyer, let's like, say over here. Yeah, all you gotta do is draw shapes and whatever comes to your mind, you draw it. If it doesn't work out because you're not a good artist, well, I'm not a good artist, look at me. You don't have to be the best artist to be the best creative person. You can make simple art. Like me. See, look at what I'm doing is not very like artistic, but it's just simple. Let's draw the carrier now. Ouch. Let's draw this one like a little much bigger. Let's actually not care this let's actually not call this one carrier. Let's call it the cruiser. But whatever shapes come to my mind, and don't worry about them being alive. There is no line in space. There is no grid for you to like, draw perfectly in space, so don't worry about them off time, you know, like a little off sometimes. Whoops. I'm not looking at the camera as much. The reason why I'm not doing this because there's no um, circle shape I'm trying to do. It's just a bunch of lines I have to draw and connect to them together. Yeah, so don't, so don't beat yourself up for not being creative. Everyone has their own little minds. 
you can't you may not be the best but you're unique to yourself that's what I was told you don't have to be the best you're already the best <clears throat> even though someone's better than you so what they're better you don't need to make it a competition Boom. We got human stuff. Let's draw the <clears throat> Lord. Let's draw the the orcs. So let's make this one actually like battle. Oh, and the reason why I'm not doing this for the orcs is because I realize that a deeper and more bold line than a little, you know, soft. Because like, you, you can barely see that, right? You can barely see that. Because I saw in my old video, I did that for the orcs. And you couldn't really, I mean, I did that for the elves. And you couldn't really see, you know. Boom, we got this down. And I realized, I was on subscribing, I was on subscription live account. And I realized that I have a D minus grade for my YouTube channel. And I was thinking, what does that mean, D minus? Does it like mean how successful I am? But, you know, I'm getting there. <clears throat> Takes time. I mean, look, it took me a month to get, like, 15 subscribers. Which I thought was sad, but I just gotta be patient. You're not famous. You're not boring. You're not, um, in a crowd one day and famous the other day. Look at most of these famous people. Van Austin, then. They started since 2012, 2014. And they worked up to get to where they are. Like me. You know, they're at my... Oh my god. They're at my uh, limit once, but was not typically the best at limitations. What am I saying? Oh okay. god, what am I saying here? See, I'm not the best commenter, I'm just saying whatever I can that comes off my mind. There you go, fixed. And if you're thinking that I just drew these like out of just like blankness of my mind, no, I trained first, so yeah, these guys took me an hour to like think of them. I thought of them, I kind of got them in my head, and then I drew them, draw them, draw them, but drew them, draw them. I don't know what to say. So like the shapes, they have a more kind of like a Zulik kind of. Maya kind of shape to them. They're not kind of pointy and all that. Like they say. Uh -oh. So we got that. I should draw a much bigger ship. Probably this way. Mm -hmm. Probably something like this, I guess. You know. To get a little bit of a saying of what I got them to be. Ugh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's fix this. Thing. There you go. Fixed. You may see a little line. I hope. Sometimes I just wish this camera didn't see things that I wish it, that that it does see. So now I need to get to the uh, part where I need to get to the one part where I do the detail. So. I'll be back. Okay, now the detailing is done and I got the pieces where they were firing at each other and stuff. You know. I got the pilots and stuff, you know, I got the I got the little starfighters and got the little orc starfighters and the human starfighters. They're firing each other over here, destroying each other over there. You know, broadside cannons coming over here. Now I think it's time I just draw it now, and I keep on forgetting all my crayons from all of I'm never prepared for these. Got him. Ugh. So I'm thinking, what color should I use? A little bit of a... I know we're going to use green for the orcs, because... The orcs. So should I use this green? I was thinking of like a Doomsday Green. Oh, no, not Doomsday Green, huh? Doom Guy, Doom Slayer Green. That, that kind of green. Uh, the blue. 
for the humans and purple for the uh not that no 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 how about this purple and uh their explosions i guess the humans explosions will be orange and uh what do you call it let's say the orcs explosions are pink that'll be uh that'll, I, I think that'll be um <clears throat> I, I think that'll be kind of epic to have pink explosions for yorks i'm just gonna color it now i'm gonna stop talking <laughs> phew after after some time doing this my knuckles just hurt when i did that but there you go i mean we got some pink lasers going here we got some like we got some orange you know gun ballistic bullets shooting each other over there you got the um <clears throat> you got some little fighters going in you can't really see like you can't really see the difference between them and them you can't really see the difference between them but if you look very closely you can tell that these guys the ones i try to darken my goodest goodest and you can see a little ballistic going on over here I made him use pink lasers because it'd be cool to see some pink in space. But there you go. This is the entire drawing. I'm gonna get ready to relax and edit, and I'll see you guys in another time in another video very, very soon. Later!